but we did the good police work and we snatched his goofy ass up, tossed his ass in jail. And that's how it goes. That's how it goes. You could put us on a three-wheeled fucking skateboard out here, boy. We'd still make felony arrests. Still keep the booty house packed with fresh souls. Let's check this shit out. Yep. We're going with the street sweeper. I don't think so. Out here in the fucking wilderness with those goddamn murder cats and shit around. Nope. Bring him big boom. Okay, well, you got quite a big cut on the back of your head here. Do you think it'll be fine? Your buddy had a bit of force on it. I doubt it. From my experience, he probably won't make it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> This water That's better be the morale poison. officer. Sorry, just being a realist. It doesn't look good from here. Uh, for a morale officer, he's a real jackass. Oh, why don't you come on over oh, here? Oh, no. Come over here. I'll show you how big of a jackass I can be. Come here. Come over hey, here. Hey, officer. You, Get over here you now. Want to watch out for this man. I'm oh, coming. Come I'm she's... coming. It's, I was he just joking, out. sir. Yeah, I like oh, the man, joke. Come on strong. up. I like Okay, we're gonna get a Why don't you turn around and put your hands behind your back, palms together. You're not under arrest, you're being detained. This is how I, I joke. That's how I start my jokes. Start all my right, jokes. all right. Yeah, you better cage that fucking attitude right now, I'll tell you that. I'm at work. It's yes sir, no sir, Trooper Thompson. I can give a fuck what you think you're going to be doing out here. Bottom line is, this is a police call. You're out here behaving unsafe. See a bunch of wildlife that also happens to be dead out here makes me think y'all was engaged in some gunplay. So if I was you, I'd cage it. Alright, sir, now we need to stood up here nice and slow. Oh, okay. On okay. count of three. Gotta come in hard, chat. Set the One, tone. Two, three. Now, the likelihood of us jamming him, probably low. Let's be honest. But it's the beginning of the shift. Can't have some low level clown and a weird sock hat with his perm sticking out from underneath it like a broke ass James Brown dictating terms. That we will not do. Why don't you come over here, too, ball cap? Come right over here in front of me, gotcha. face away from me, place your hands behind your back, palms together. Who was doing the shooting? How do, do I look like a hunter to you? I don't know what the hell a hunter looks like, sir, but I do not like the attitude. Make no mistake, I'm in charge and I'm asking the fucking questions. You're the guy who was out here splayed out flatter than a rail yard penny. You boys better start acting right. Are they good to go, uh, Doc? Yep, they're all clear medically. Fantastic, sir. Would not want them entering prison uh, with any kind of ailments. The boys like the meat fresh. Thank you, sir. Not a problem. Again, you are not under arrest, but you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at no cost by the state. You have the right to have that attorney present while you are being questioned. You have the right to invoke these rights at any point in time. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir. All right, sir. Now, who was doing the fucking shooting, sir? We both were. We were out here hunting elk. How many elk, perhaps, were you thinking about getting them? Because I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. What are you hunting for? Commercial purposes, personal use, what? Uh, 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 leisure. Leisure, huh? Sir. That's a whole shitload of meat, boys. You must really pack away the venison. Now, how exactly were you boys planning on transporting out these one, two, three, four, five adult elk in your shitbox blue sedan with a luggage rack that's already half full? I haven't thought that far ahead, sir. Oh, so you didn't think about that part before you shot these poor fucking things in the face. When were you going to start thinking about that part? Be obviously, not before you killed them, right? Yes, sir. Probably fresh off a hair appointment. Didn't want to miss the opportunity to slaughter some animals when they come to get a drink of water in your in your sock hat and your sweatsuit, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, wouldn't want to miss your window opportunity. How many of these did you kill, sir? Uh, probably route either two or three, sir. Two or three for you, huh? So your girlfriend over there dropped the other two? Yes, sir. Okay, I assume y'all have your hunting licenses, also have uh, all your documentation in order? Uh, every, everything is in my wallet. 
Everything's in your wallet, sure. huh? That you can't carry because you ain't got no pocket, so you just tuck it in your waistband. Yes, sir. So where's your wallet at, Mr. Hertz? It's right here in my uh, waistband. Oh, it's tucked. The sure. wallet's also tucked in the waist. So that's a strong ass waistband that's on those ass. floppy ass sweatsuit pants you got. It's a little tight, sir. Mm-hmm. I don't know, Mr. Hertz. Given your attitude, the state of affairs around here, I'm thinking about running you boys in for public display of a firearm illegal discharge. What do you think about that? Y'all do some fucking jail time. Maybe next time I show up on a scene, you won't be so quick with that mouth. What do you think? I'm sorry, sir. I was just trying to make conversation. Oh, yeah? Talking shit? That's how you make conversation? I, I apologize. I apologize for my remark earlier, sir. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Mr. Hertz. Yeah, I'm in, on in, inside voice now, sir. Fantastic, sir. Fantastic. Do you prefer... I assume that's going to be your vehicle up there, the blue sedan? Yes, but the old man would never afford a car like that. Touche. You have your ID on you? Dispatch Adam 1, show us code Yeah, I'm um, back in right the area of it, Power Street. It's a bit tight jeans, so yeah, you're going to have to take it out. If need be, I'll cut it out of the pocket just to make sure I get it, sir. First of all, my name is Trooper Thompson with the San Andreas State Police. Uh, I am at work. I prefer yes, sir, no, sir, and Trooper Thompson. That way we can expedite your police service. Make sure you get all of the attention you deserve. Okay, Mr. Von Otter, do you prefer Sylvester or Mr. Von Otter? Uh, uh, anything, anything's fine, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to explain to me, sir, who was doing the shooting? Uh, we both were. You both were. Um, yeah. Okay. And for what purpose, sir? Just y'all felt like killing uh, shit? For fun. It's legal here, right? For fun. Okay. Well, yeah, hunting's legal. I don't know if that's what I'd call this. I'm counting. Let's ask her. Excuse me, miss. Miss, you have like a second? Uh, what, what the? I'm asking, I'm not talking to you. Um, okay, was well, probably going to mourn the dead. Anyway, yeah. sir, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five adult carcasses here. I'm seeing two jokers, one of whom dressed like he's just out of a Rick James concert, and the other whom is wearing a yellow ball cap. We find him splayed the fuck out on the opposite bank of the river there. None of y'all got any kind of idea what the fuck you're doing you're here in a beat ass blue sedan with a luggage rack already half full and you're telling me that you're going to be transporting out one two three four five fully grown elk using that vehicle up there is that what is that what yeah. you're telling me yeah i mean we i live in the car so that's my luggage uh we could just move like the luggage into the like in like the trunk and we could put if it was just on the roof I tell you what, based on the attitude and, and what I'm seeing here, I'm thinking maybe you two are just a couple of junior sociopaths out here trying to kill whatever moves so you can so you can get your jollies. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe y'all going to be graduating to fucking become serial killers or some shit. Maybe I should step in right now, send y'all's ass up to state fucking prison for a little rehabilitation, sir. Uh, please do not, sir. Okay, this is a bit like... Um uh, weird, perhaps, but uh, you see, the old man, he, he, he has, like, no money. Uh, so we were trying to, like, get some food and stuff for him. And, yeah, it got a little bit hard, out of hand, you know, because I've never been hunting, and I, I don't think he has been hunting. He, he's very weird, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd call setting an ambush with handguns near the water source hunting. Either way, five is excessive. Okay. So what we're going to do yeah, here, sir, sir, is I'm going to uncuff you. You are going to collect your girlfriend over there. You two are going to go up to that vehicle. You're going to get in. You're going to drive out of here legal like like responsible-ass adults. And you're not going to make me regret cutting you loose. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you, sir. Do not make me remind you again you. about the yes, sir, and the no, sir. We are not friends. We're not hanging out at cap I, I, a casual happy hour following work. You understand that? I, I said, sir, sir. All right, Rick James. You and Mr. Von Otter are free to go. You may head on up to the vehicle up there and depart here legal and calm-like. Just for future reference, boys, 
shooting five fully grown animals and trying to transport it out in a fucking sedan that old boy lives in. Pretty goddamn foolish. Let's think ahead next time. A lot of this meat's gonna go to waste. Yes, sir. All right, then. Go ahead. Bust a move. Hot Trooper Eli, uh, he's all yours now. All right, boss. I well, well, well. All mine, he says. You got anything on you I need to know about, Mr. Slater? I'll, you know me, sir. I don't carry anything. I don't carry any weapons anymore, sir. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell me exactly what happened now? All right. I was just walking down and there's like a there's like gunshots happening at the bank. I was just walking yeah, down see, the road. Yeah, see my boy says underground doctor could be a veterinary. And yes, see? Hey motherfucker. How cool would that? I get hit. How cool would that he be? Swerves. I was walking down here and he swerves and clips my leg and then he runs into that little brown thing right there. And I feel the fire the hydrant he gets out and runs off. Yeah, yeah. Is that a fire hydrant? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See how it says S A F D on it? Oh, yeah. Hey, Trooper yeah, Thompson there. Yes, sir. You uh, want some of this petroleum jelly, or are you just going to go in there raw? Um, we're thinking maybe spit, budget cuts. All right, 10 for Roger. Appreciate the offer, man. No problem. Anyway, sorry about that, Mr. Slater. Uh, so, uh, you're just uh, yeah. walking along in this area, minding your own business, and all of a sudden you're... Oh, hey, motherfucker! Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And then he tries to—he tried to take yeah. you out. Ends up striking this fire hydrant, and then what? He clipped you trying to strike the fire hydrant, knocked you back, and then where did he go? He swerved to hit me uh, and clipped my leg, hit the fire hydrant. He got out, and he says, "Fuck you, motherfucker!" And then he goes and runs down uh, behind us, down the road. Mm. So, what brings you into this area, sir? Um, you I was just chilling. I haven't checked up the, the Polito Beach in a while. I was actually just chilling at the beach. Bullshit. All right, sir. Well, you're not under arrest. You're being detained. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state at no charge. You have the right to have the, your attorney present while you're being questioned. You have the right to invoke these rights at any point in time. Do you understand your rights, sir? Yes, sir. I do understand, sir. All right, Mr. Slater, so this is where we're at, sir. You said you came down here to go to the beach. Where is your vehicle at, sir? Uh, I've, I I'm going to caution one. you, Mr. Slater. Sure. I'm going to caution you, sir. You are right now headed down a dark, dark road. At the end of that road will be two things. A smiling me holding a pair of handcuffs and state fucking prison. If you think I'm some kind of a fucking fool, you are wrong. You're going to end up in there for a hundred fucking months. That's a long time, sir. You better start saying some shit that makes sense, Mr. Slater, before I stomp a uh, fucking mud hole in your ass, sir. 309, Adam 1, direct. Ah, uh, fuck. Send it. Uh, 309, Christian Adam 1. Were you able to find on, that uh, white contender? Negative. I took the medical call. I'm out with that. Uh, uh, he was running from fuck, the area dude. of the large run yeah. station. That's my call. Um, Damn it. So he's likely going to I hate when you do this there. to me. It's not cool. Uh, Mr. Slater, I didn't do it to you, sir. You did it to yourself. That's what you need to understand. Nothing you're saying make any fucking sense at all. Your ass lives in Sandy Shores. You ain't got no fucking reason to be here. I don't see any one of your obnoxious ass fucking vehicles that you drive around that are so fucking obviously yours. We got a car here that's wrecked the fuck out, that's returning as a fucking man. stolen, and uh, your goofy ass laid theater. out right fucking uh, next to it. It's just uh, questioning, processing, and stuff like that. Unfortunate yeah, for you, one of the la 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 lean boys was just involved in a bank robbery, not even a fucking stone's throw from here. And why would Mr. Buddha be over here trying to murder you and bring heat down on their bank job, knowing that Peter was in there robbing the fucking bank? Doesn't make any fucking sense. We knew from the dick tip that it was your fucking car, son. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, don't fuck yourself. You play yourself out here, get up, end up getting dealt I'm with. I know. I should, dude, that was the first time I've lied to you in a long time, Trooper Thompson. I'm sorry. How'd it's it go? My car. Fucking shitty. Yes, sir. Maybe, uh. You're under arrest for you know. possession of a stolen vehicle. I'm searching your ass. 33, negative $33. Six things of vodka. 
three repair kits, 61 beef jerky, some 21, well, 41 cigarettes. Paul Arde. Dang it. Now I'm about to get up in this car, boy. Make no mistake. I'm about to get up in here, and I will rip God, this son of a bitch apart. On, Thompson. Mr. Slater, Here's first of all, my first name is Trooper. Last name is Thompson, and Sorry. I prefer to be dressed as such. Second, sir, I'm not the one out here acting a fool. I'm just out here doing my goddamn job. So if you want to get honest before I start doing what I'm going to do, then this is your chance. Otherwise, I'm about to fucking get down, boy. The music is already playing. I'm about to hit the dance floor. All right, it's <laughs> doing a fucking got illegal drugs in there, sir. Oh, oh my god! To make I owe money to people, a lot of money to a lot of people. Shame sir. on you, Zach Morris, out here trafficking the devil's fucking lettuce. Don't call me Zach Morris. God damn man, jazz that's... cabbage! Now then, let's jazz get at that cabbage. reefer, shall we? Let's see how much you got in here, son. Fuck! Damn it, man! I don't want to go to jail. Oh, too much, too many people, too much money. Mm-hmm. This is and a good way of earning it. So let's see. You're out. Whatever you pay for this shit box. Whatever you pay for the dope. You go. It's working well as a money-making enterprise. For sure. Now, normally it's going to be down in the wheel well. Uh, sometimes they'll hide it in the door panels, things like that. Woo-wee! Three kilos of jazz cabbage, boy. Look at you. Danny Slater, kingpin. <laughs> Kingpin, I'm just trying to make some money, you know. Mm-hmm. You sure as hell are. I was honest, though, sir. Yes, you I were. Mean, you know, I didn't. Oh, you know, that's always plus. Yep. Yep. So, in exchange I'm, for the I'm honesty, we're going to shave the time. We're going to reduce the fine. Actually, we'll waive the fine and reduce the time. All right. As is the policy. My policy. Sounds good, sir. You tried to go down that stupid fucking road you was headed down. Guarantee you, son, you would have fucking dangled on this one. Had you dead to fucking rights. I know, sir. You may told you you're too good at your job. No, sir. Did that give me some more time off? Well, you're too good at your job. What do I get for for, for that compliment? Uh, I don't know, sir. I'll have to let uh, the powers that be up at the state police know that you're so satisfied with my police service. Pass that along. See if I can't get that tucked into my fitness report. You did try to laugh first. All right, Mr. Slater. So this is going to be your charges, sir. Possession of a stolen vehicle, possession of narcotics with intent to distribute, failure to report an accident. You know what? We're going to get rid of that. We'll get rid of that one. How about reckless nice. driving? All right. Now, I'm going to knock the, the time down from the maximum, which would be about 60 minutes, anywhere from 45 to, to 60 months is what we're in the, in the ballpark with, especially if we'd have had to add uh, obstruction of justice and supplying false information. You'd be well into the 75-month, 80-month territory. You hear me? Oh, shit. We're going to knock yes, it down sir. to 20 months to reward that honesty because you finally did get honest eventually. Okay? Don't you fuck with me again. If I show up, you tell me the truth right from the fucking dick tip. Don't you fucking play games with me. You're just going to end up embarrassing yourself and adding a whole shitload more time. All right. I figured I'd try and it didn't work, so yeah, I probably... What'd you learn? Lie anymore to you. Nothing. I learned to not, not fucking lie to you. Not smart. It's almost a costly ass lesson. All right, sir. About to get your ass on up to state prison. Okay. All right, sir. All right, Mr. Slater. Please can make I, better I, choices. Wait, hold on. One second. Can I? Can I finish? You know. You know. After you. You know. Name my clothing and shit. Can I say the last part? You know what part you like to say often? Can I say it? Come on. Oh, you know please, what? Sir. Why not, Mr. Slater? You know I, that. I'll let okay, you do okay. that. Okay. So I'll give you the signal. Right when it's time, okay? Sounds good, sir. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. County Dispatch 309, request an immediate transport to uh, Bolinbrook State Prison. Going to be a number two male, about six feet tall, 190 pounds, 
weird green and yellow tank top, like matching fucked up kind of like plaid, like, you know, fraternity trust fund baby shorts, like flip flops, of course, shaggy, long fucking hair. Uh, I don't know what do we got here in, in some looks like some women's sunglasses. Maybe he's wearing later on, dude. <laughs> oh, Mr. Doyle, how you doing, man? Hey, Mr. Doyle, I'm doing all right. if you have Cat a looking, down. Caterpillar's looking spry as ever there, Mr. Buddha. Are you fucking serious? You're gonna insult me already, man? Wow. Come on. What you mean? I gave you huh? a compliment about your caterpillar. I don't understand how you took that as a negative remark. I yeah, said it's yeah. looking spry, looking good. You know what oh, I, mean? I thought you said surprised for some reason. <laughs> no, no, I said it's looking spry. That thing's looking on point, like you've been putting gel in it lately. Why yeah, you gotta right. get so oh, offended? I know, I conditioned it now, you know? It's a very sexy mustache. What so the fuck did, are you gonna call it a call... caterpillar, man? Huh? Did they, because huh? it looks like a fucking... Hold on, let me... I'm tempted to tease Buddha a little bit. You're a caterpillar, bro. I'm tempted to tease Buddha a little bit. Hey, man, did you get called out here? Yeah. Or did you just kind of mosey on over? Oh, no, I'm tempted. just kind of chilling, you know? Just watching what's going on, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, you like, you like tickets, Mr. Buddha? I like tickets. You like tickets? These fucking Ah, tickets to, uh, you know, Disney, basketball bank. games? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, tickets to uh -huh, a suspended uh -huh, driver's license. You like them? Oh! Ah, uh, no, I don't like those ones, man. That's why I don't drive no more, you know? I walk everywhere, man. You walk everywhere? I saw you drive up in that car and get out. After... Mm. After you illegally back down the lane once you passed it. Nuh-uh, Trooper Duel. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, huh? That's a $850 ticket. Nuh-uh, see? Long shit, shit. Right the Thompson street. Liberty. And his, no, his, no, license, no. his license suspended as fuck already, Duel. Oh, oh no, Unbelievable. Buddha. Hey, Buddha. I don't believe Go it. On, buddy. Turn, turn around. Yep, turn no, it around, no, Charlie no, Chaplin. No, it's a Tesla, it drives around, itself, you, you know? You better turn the fuck around before you end up riding the lightning, boy. I ain't gonna ask you again. <laughs> Holy shit. Put your hands behind your back. A good name for a song, there. Put your oh, you have to arrest me, man? That show's gonna be fingers. a ticket. You ain't under arrest yet. You're being placed in handcuffs you as you're wild arrest. as shit. Hey, Mr. Mr. Booty Short Man, you mind stepping away from me? Yes, sir. <sighs> Thank you, Reginald. Mm, you smell that? You smell that old cheese, man? Mm-hmm. Oh, hold on, Caterpillar. I'm gonna check it out. Been wearing the same sock for two weeks, man. Haven't showered in two months. What the fuck, dude? That's nothing to be proud about. And he's lying anyway. You know that they scrub him down butt naked, throw the delousing shit on him every time they go to jail, and this motherfucker looks fresh yeah, out to me. Yeah, they got him up naked against the wall with yep. the uh, stiff bris bristle brushes going yep. to town. This some bitch probably gets more showers than anybody else in town. Be honest, will you up to like 10, 20 showers a day, Mr. Buddha? No, 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 no. I'm on a new path now, boys. The lice hate no the powder, for me, man. Yeah, it looks like... Looks like yeah. you turned over a new leaf, Mr. Driving on fucking suspended. I told you it's a Tesla, it drives itself. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What I know is There's right no and wrong. There's no way that fucking thing's a Tesla. It says Tampa anyway, big dummy. Tampa. No, and I got a custom Tampa. body kit over the Tesla, you know? You have a custom I'm body at your kit, ID, he said. Mr. Buddha. I can't read it for whatever reason. Somebody said P Biggles be pieced All out. Right. Yeah, I know. You got him. I'll be right back. I'm he was a hang around anyway. Bosco's spend. already got Ross in custody for the stolen vehicle. Know, and he he, he uh, was the RA on that shot fired. Doyle's I just the suspension was only on, for 24 hours, man. Uh, negative. It's still you get you go see a judge and have that shit reinstated, Mr. Buddha. I told you that. God damn, he got a bat somewhere down here. You know, some bitch hiding the bat. It's taped to my leg. Taped to your leg, huh? You sure you ain't got it in your prison wallet, uh, Mr. Buddha? There Buddha's? it is. There's the pistol. Make a note on the card. Always keeps it in his fucking inner thigh, right by his manhood. Roger that. And then oh, a at least petrol can. It was manhood, one not little, childhood, you know? Petrol cans. Well, I can't really say balls because I think Duke took them a long time ago. Fuck you, man. Still have <laughs> hey, one that's what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill. I mean. What'd you say? Go nothing, nothing. What'd you say, Mr. Buddha? Buddha, did you say I something? Said you are hey, Doyle, I think, beautiful I think, today. I think Mr. Buddha might have said something. No, you, no, 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 no. 
I said everybody was a kung fu fighting. Yeah, I'm about to kung fu kick your fucking ass to jail. I'll tell you that right now. You want to say kung fu uh, fighting? On, don't take me to prison, I'm about please. to do that shit. You're getting awful real fucking familiar, Mr. Buddha. Like this ain't a police control and you ain't in fucking handcuffs, boy. If I was you, I'd adopt the correct attitude before I ship you off for a little re-education. Guarantee. Alright. You know what right I think, there. Duel? What's that? I think maybe he's missing the companionship and camaraderie that's offered by only one place. The Choking Stroke Motel. I think maybe he's eager for a little bit more manhood on his flavor saver there. Underneath his nose. No! Yeah, I think so. I think you might need a Trust fresh, a a lead. fresh dusting of Believe old me. day ombre against that fucking push broom mm -hmm. mustache you're rocking, Charlie Chaplin. I think maybe you need to hey, take Eli. the ride, boy. You mind checking that plate out for I me? I didn't please. even move on to the vehicle yet. Yeah, Roger that. Yes, you shouldn't be out here rocking a goddamn motor vehicle knowing your license fucks sideways. Uh, you even fuck said, me. Mm -mm. man, but I thought it, uh, I thought I'd come back after a 24 hour. No, it doesn't. It does not come back. Oh, after come on, hours. man. Let me go, motherfucker. Oh, please. Come on, man. Uh, motherfucker. Oh, let me go, I'm motherfucker. Oh, please, man. You did oh, this to okay. you. Oh, okay. I see what this is now, huh? I fucking see. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. What were you saying earlier there, Mr. Buddha? <laughs> you, you guys are making it hard for me to be 172.6% rehabilitated. Oh, man. shit, dude. He said, Real you hear that? Hard, you know? shit. He said, we out here we making it fight. hard for him. Calm down now, yeah. boy. It ain't shower time up at the pen. You better not be getting hard out here. <laughs> oh, you get confused, right, dude. Don't know which oh, way yeah. is up. It's my, it's, it's, it's my fault. I made him getting in a car on suspended. Yeah, I guess so. Guess all the blood went down Here's to the little Buddha. Boss. He got so excited thinking about staying in prison. I have a company now, you know? What's your company? Lang Buddha Coca Cola, man. Lang I bought the Coca Cola, Coca -Cola. you know? Lang Buddha Coca -Cola. Coca Cola. Wow, look at you. Uh -huh. Who gave you a loan? Donald Trump, give me a small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's a risk taker. Yeah, he's a risk taker. I believe it. All right, boss. Hmm. Did you either sign? It's gonna pay to take camp for the ticket. Let me know. Man said he got a million dollars from Donald Trump. I'm moving back here. You can get your little squiggle squaggle on. How you taking these cuffs off your goddamn wild card? Uh, oh, goddamn it, buddy! Think of the new ride. <laughs> Sweet. Where'd you, you, know, where'd you get the money from, time, man? Donald I Trump? I earned it, dude. I fucking earned it. Where the fuck do you get all this money? Dude, Donald I Trump. Shit. He, he had money. Elon, what the yes, fuck? Yes, sir. Maybe Trump did give him money. He actually paid the ticket. Son. Man said he was getting money what? off what? Donald Trump. Listen, yeah. listen, man. 176.2% rehabilitated. Trust though. me, man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 1095 male. He's driving on a suspender. We're going to take him for the 10 minute. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You like it, Reggie? Sweet, right? Fucking sexy. You're looking sexy, right, Tarzan. You shave, man. Based off the infraction amount, Ooh. it's not a severe thing. I'm gonna have a paddy wagon come get you from scene. I don't see no point in transporting you to Mission Row. It's not even really criminal. Oh, infraction. are you it's getting racy on a job, dog? Huh? Oh, shit. What you mean? We you, said you, you need more time? You hear him, dog? He said, oh, you getting oh, racy yeah. on a job, dog? Huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Ah, oh, so lazy. Oh, you getting racy out here, motherfucker? That's what I heard. Motherfucker? Huh? See, Thompson agrees with me, man. No, I didn't say that no, he shit. he don't agree with you. He don't agree with you. Yeah, what's well, about to man, happen? he's my dad now, you know? That's why he sounds Go like me. Go about to turn your goofy like ass on over to me. Let me max you the fuck out. Ship you the fuck off my own mm -hmm. self. Mm-hmm. Oh, pass me on to my father. Huh? Tell you oh, what, yeah, dude. He's gonna he gonna follow through on the phone. We'll, uh, maybe we'll call a judge, have him put a, good, a judicial lien against your ass for what you owe the state, smart ass. Maybe dip into that Trump one million dollars you owe. Maybe snatch up this brand new car, mm -hmm. sell off them rims, boy. How about that? Uh, you don't have uh -huh, uh -huh. to pay the state Dude, What'd you just money? say? So. Did you hear that, Doyle? I didn't hear it. What'd I you just say, Mr. Buddha? Putting down. I said go ahead and steal and take all of my shit, motherfucker. Go ahead. Oh shit. God damn. It's like he's daring me. Eli, you wanna you wanna patrol in that Tampa first? We'll, we'll <laughs> the other day or something. 
I tell you what, Doyle. Take that shit to the department. Now think about having it crushed into a coaster. I'm getting a nasty water ring on the table up at the house. How about that? How'd that be? Oh yeah, that'd be a good coaster. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. Trooper Thompson, Trooper Doyle with the San Andreas State Police. I need your license, your registration, your proof of insurance, please, ma'am. Oh, um, yep, yeah, no problem. Hold on a second. Right. May I have permission to reach over and grab my restoration out? Extra fucking careful, please, ma'am. That was not me. Feel like you might have done that with your thoughts, madam. No, why would I do that? I don't know. Uh, 451, we might have a deputy down in the roadway. So I oh my god! That's, that, yeah, that's, a, that's a trooper you and a deputy. Why don't you step on out? out. Damn, Come over down. here. Trying to get medical aid. You come right on over here, ma'am, where it's safe. Face away from me. Place your hands behind your back. Palms together. But I don't understand why. Good over there. Yep. I'm and it all will be explained in due time, madam. You are not under arrest, Miss Jenkins. You're just being detained. The vehicle you are driving, madam, has been reported stolen by the registered owner. Did you did you know that, ma'am? What? I know. That is crazy, Trevor Thompson. I know. Where'd you get the Why car? Why would they do such a thing? Oh, I borrowed it from um, Finn Cone's neighbor. Oh, that's nice. I mean, so Trooper Doyle, sorry, excuse me. Okay, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You can not afford one. One will be appointed to you by the state at no cost. You have the right to have your attorney present while you're being questioned. You have the right to invoke these rights at any point in time. Do you understand your rights, ma'am? Um, I do, yes, sir. Okay, madam. Uh, at this point... Can I just tell you, you look very smashing today. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, at this point, the, uh, the police work is about to commence. Alright, once that starts, there ain't no stopping it. Now, you say you it borrowed that car. If you don't think I'm going to check, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. You're going to end up turning this into something minor, into something big, make a mountain out of a molehill. Trooper Thompson, can I can I just say that I did borrow it. Mm. Maybe without permissions, but I did borrow it. <clears throat> Obviously. Okay, roger that. So what, uh, what would you say somebody taking something without permission, quote-unquote borrowing, Without any definable timeline of its return or intention thereof, what would that be defined as, do you think? Like if there was a word that summed it up. Okay, hold on. Let me think really hard about that. Think about it now. Somebody taking something without permission, with no intention or defined timeline on the, on, uh, the item's return. I mean, people do it all the time, right? Like... Um, I mean, if you had a word that you had to pick, kind of encapsulate that. What do you, what word would you take? Would you would you uh, would you choose, madam? Uh, hmm. Can I can I get my can handcuff me so I can look at my phone so I can Google it? No, ma'am. You're just gonna have to think off the top of your head. How long? Um, Maybe Doyle knows. Charity. Hey, Trooper Charity. Doyle, what do you call when somebody takes something of somebody else's without permission, no intention of returning it or definable timeline thereof, sir? Oh, that's called borrowing forever. Oh, so stealing. Thank you. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Here, let me check. Let me check her eyes. She might be pinpoint. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, get that out of my face. Hey, he's trying to do his job. Oh, you smacked up might, on yeah, dope, she madam. Might be under the influence. You doped up on smack. Possibly. Why what would do you I, want? Why would I do that? Why not? Well, you've been you've been injecting that shit. I, I I would never inject marijuana. Miss Stone, just be honest with us. It's Avery. It's Avery Jenkins. You know That's me. That's what I said. You did not say that. You know what? I'm. You want to know the whole story? I'll tell you the whole story right now. You I'll better go ahead start. Because right now I your version of manifest fucking destiny is not going to work for us, madam. 
I was looking for houses. I went over by the lighthouse, and you know whose name is on that mailbox over there? No. You know, well, the person standing right beside you, that's his house over there. So, I might have went to his house. I might have TP'd that bitch. You're welcome. And then, my car got stuck, so I had to borrow another one. That's what happened. Yeah, what car was that? Of yours that got stuck? My Regina. Yeah, where's your Regina at now? Well, it's... It's stuck at Trooper Doyle's house. We're in the road or in the in the side of the road in a ditch. Where well, we need some specifics, ma'am. You don't know where your own Regina is. Well, my my Regina. Is, Listen, well, ma'am. If you if you need help finding your place. Regina, you need to, you need to say that. All right. Now, where is your Regina, madam? I need help finding it. Okay. I have misplaced it. Very well. When was the last time you saw your Regina? At Trooper Doyle's house. So you had your Regina no, over your Regina out over at Trooper Doyle's house. house. No. Yes, I did. So you just had There's your no Regina way I out. Let you park your Regina on my property. My Regina has been all over your property. Okay, we need to we need to figure this thing out here. So you had your Regina out over at Doyle's house. And then you lost it. Then I lost it. Ain't no way she lost it. It got all smashed house. up. Okay, how'd you smash up your vagina? It got beat the fuck up. I, you know. So somebody came along, crazy. beat, beat, beat the vagina up. It ended up getting stuck out in the way. Do you say he's on the road or is it off the road? It's off the road. So, probably covered in dirt then from going off road. You got a dirty, beat up, neglected Regina left out at Doyle's house. I wouldn't call it dirty now. Trooper Times, right? I swear to God, if I find that dusty ass Regina laying on my property, I'm going to put it in the fucking ocean. That's my property. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Okay. All right. That's really rude. Dude. So, you don't take good care of your Regina. It ends up getting dirty and smashed up, just beat to all hell. And then you make the decision to go ahead and abandon your own Regina and steal somebody else's vehicle and then drive along like it's cool. Mm, I, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't say it's dirty, but everything the else is true. Unit receiving a 911 call. It is smashed up the hell. All right, I'll tell you Road, what. Drive, Sandy Shores. In the interest of being thorough, what we'll do is I'll keep you detained. We'll drive all the way up there to where Trooper Doyle's house is. You can show me right where that Regina is located. Show me your Regina. And if it's out there, then maybe we could talk. But if it ain't out there, your ass going to catch an obstruction of justice charge and a supplying false information to a law enforcement officer charge. You hear me? I will show you. I will show you my Regina happily. All right, Trooper Thompson. Gonna be located in the middle of you want to see your Regina too? Panorama Drive, response code three. I don't even know. It's all dusty, all up on where it shouldn't be. It's out there over by your place, by your house. I know it is. I know. I'm gonna go see so I can fuck figure out this trespass. We might have something criminal at this point. I'll go look. You stand by. Disappointed in you, man. How'd your Regina end up taking so much punishment, madam? Well, I mean, sometimes you just like to drive it a little hard, you know what I mean? Right. Like a whole bunch of drivers one after another, or a whole bunch of drivers like at once? Like they're switching off? Well, I mean, it was just me. Just you with your own self, huh? You did that much damage to your own Regina like that? Beat the shit out of it. Good God in heaven. I was looking for a new place to park my Regina, and I ended up over there. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Doesn't seem like you're very tightly controlled with this Regina. It's kind of loose Regina ownership. Oh, well, I have more. You have more than one Regina? Oh, yeah. Okay, how Dante many, bought them for me. How many Reginas do you have, madam? I have four. You have four separate Reginas? I do. Okay. 
And all of them so beat up and in such a state of disrepair? We're only like maybe two out of four. So half the time your vagina is beat up and dirty and then half the time totally fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, struggle is real. We better find that car, girl. I'll tell you that right now. If we don't find that fucking car, it's going to be your ass. 451, same. <laughs> uh. Boys? Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Fucking people uh. are crazy. Okay, trooper? Yeah, I got fucking jumped. Got jumped by six people. Uh, he was carrying a one on each shoulder like, like a hero. And County he dispatch, 309. Jumped be by out with that trooper. cavemen. I'm gonna be a uh, possible assault out here. We're gonna have three subjects down. We're gonna begin emergency medical. What happened, boss? Who assaults? Sam, she's on the These uh, fucking nonsense locals, man. These pick them up truck drivers. Got me in my car. Well, we're trying to get them off the road, and they like, I got hit by one. Probably gonna be Adam Otter related. Um, Trooper on scene's reference and local attack. He tased one, and he was jumped by another one. It was terrible. We need to clear this traffic. We need to clear it now, otherwise we're gonna turn a small problem into a big one. Oh, God. I've seen this happen before. It has been fire and blood. God, there's body parts everywhere. Shit. Gonna have another DRT in the road as well. The guy, his ass got squashed. Sorry, Miss uh -huh. Jenkins, not sure exactly what's going on with the car right now, but she's fighting me. Oh, that's no problem. Sometimes, you know, likes to kick back. Who is that handsome man I see? Oh, I Miss see. Chanel. We gotta get oh, these cars out of the Officer travel lane. Is that if Mr. Not, Slater the locals there too? will go absolutely ham bone, and kill everybody out here. Later. Make no mistake. All right now, Miss Jenkins. Now you're gonna go to jail, madam. You're yeah. under arrest at this point for possession of a stolen vehicle. Okay? I'm not gonna max you out. I'll take your word on it. I'm gonna go by there and check for that fucking Regina when I'm done do here. Not deploy you ain't up not there. I'm gonna come up to the flares. jail and tax some more on. Uh, okay. Oh, I did it. Uh, entice the uh, entice the locals. They'll drive crazy as fuck. Okay. Well, good luck looking at my vagina. Uh, vagina. Whoa! Whoa! I said Regina. I am pretty goddamn positive you just said vagina, madam. I said Regina. Sir. I'm pretty I would positive never. you said vagina. Victor Adam I'm George out of Nora Adam. Vagina. As in your lady no, bitch. I said. Richard, Edward, Negative, whatever. you did not say I that. Maybe it's a, a Freudian slip. You was talking about your southbound lady traffic. I'm at work, madam. Ain't I nobody want to see your vagina or other bits or whatever else. How about you try driving a car belonging to Y.O. fucking you? You know who does want to see my V word? V word. I am not dirty and I would never say vagina. What? I said Regina. Hmm. Well, I know who wants to see it for sure. The other inmates up at uh, State Prison, madam. Probably turn you into a hell of a scissor sister up there. Be scissoring all night long up there with your fellow felons. Get you on your way. County Dispatch, 309. Request an immediate 1091 transport to Bolingbrook State Prison for a medium security inmate. Going to be a number two female, five foot eight, about 100 pounds, blonde headed, brown suit, brown boots. Gonna be Panorama Drive, East Joshua Road, Sandy Shores District. Later on, ma'am. Cooter, cooter, cooter. Later on. <laughs> I walked in on. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you I didn't you see missed her car, it, buddy. She was I asking. A, she was asking. Uh, asking if you wanted to see her fucking vagina. Oh my God. Car, right? Car.
No, no, that's a Rajana. She asked specific if you oh. wanted to see her vagina. She was like, you think Trooper Doyle might want to see my southbound get down? And I was like, wait. And she was like, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't. And she was like, my, you know, my vagina. And I was like, oh, my God in heaven. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're so vulgar. They are. They are. Oh, oh. Oh, God oh, damn back it. up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh no. Ah. Miss Chanel, are you okay? Oh, God. Uh, I'm having a hard time breathing. breathing. I tell you what, ma'am, if you need if you need a, a safe place to calm down, I could take you on up to state prison. Make sure you get yourself one of those tiny little cells. Nothing going to hurt you up there, ma'am. Big walls, oh. razor wire, the whole nine yards. Do they play butthole bingo, bingo up there, officer? Uh, it's trooper, gonna be trooper. Me. And on Mondays, negative, ma'am. The butthole bingo is gonna be mainly Wednesdays, unless they have changed the activity schedule. The Saturday is oh the state prison God. sock oh. hop. Thursday is gonna be naked twister. I believe tonight is gonna be oh. speed dating. But I'm not sure. Oh, oh God, speed camper. dating and backdoor boogaloo. Uh, fuck. Yep. All right, Miss Chanel. Now keep your moaning and your caterwauling and shit to a minimum when I'm around, madam. Otherwise, I'm gonna think you might oh. need some attitudinal readjusting. Ooh, what's that? What does that involve? I'll tell you what it doesn't involve is a whole bunch of noise coming out of your mouth. You'll grab me a gag and a spit bag and ship your ass up to state prison on a mental eval, madam. Give you a fat Mary flag. Let everybody know you're crazy as all get out. Crazy as a shit house rat. You gonna control yourself around me, Ooh. girl? You don't scare me, officer. Well, then maybe, maybe there's something wrong with you that definitely does need on. attention. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, maybe you just need to strap me down, officer. With those big, strong hands. I'll tell you what, Miss Chanel. Line. You better make like fucking David Copperfield disappear out of my field of vision right fucking now. Most Ricky Tick, madam. Because if I get out of this car, hey, I'm taking Thompson. a soul down to state prison with me. Yeah. Officer. Did you hear that uh, she's engaged? No, I did not. Trooper, Sergeant. It's yeah, Trooper, goddammit. Yes, Sergeant Thompson, this is not Boy, private property. I'm, I'm, ex I am, I'm exhibiting my freedom of speech and my freedom to exist. I'm a sovereign citizen. I do not identify with your laws. Fantastic. You cannot touch me! I am a sovereign citizen! Stop right there. Trooper Thompson. You're under Sergeant arrest Trooper for failure Master to Thompson. obey a lawful order. This is a police what was scene. The lawful, order? the lawful order was for you to get your goofy ass out of my sight. You want to mess with the bull girls? You're gonna get the horns, guaranteed. Oh. You think you're out here playing games oh and shit? God. I don't play games out here, girl. You gonna do as told, answer with the truth, and shut your mouth. <laughs> Good God! What the fuck this is, is going on? This is a. This is a. This Cue to leave, sir. Anything wrong? Fuck the rats. Dick, Kiki, Sandra Thompson. What the fuck is that happening? For Danny Fighter, I don't know if y'all. Don't you think I forgot about Danny our Danny. date? I don't know if y'all are seeing that or not. The whatever the fuck that is, fucking frame bullshit. drop or whatever it is. The I was. Getting I am fucking a sovereign waylaid. citizen. I do not identify with your laws. You are a member of the patriarchy. I am being repressed. Fantastic. This is. This is profiling. You profiled me because I'm a this strong, independent woman. In the area. This is bullshit. What's your badge number, Sergeant Matthews? Okay, now my number is three zero nine, madam. Three zero nine. I will remember that. Who is your direct superior? Uh, G O D. Spelling is going to be George Ocean David. How can I? How can I reach him? Most people use daily picture? prayer. Some people write notes. Uh, others go to church. No, I don't have those. I don't have those social media profiles. I don't know how to use those. Well, that's too bad. Sorry to hear it. Maybe try writing your congressman, perhaps. This is this is the false arrest. You I don't think no so. Arrest me. I think I'm that I'm arresting you for failure before. to obey a lawful we'll command. Be back to name. I was injured in a car wreck, survived by the grace of God, only because strong-jawed Mr. Officer Boscarelli saved me. I was just trying to get my, catch my breath. 
No, and ma'am. You manhandled me like a cretin. Nope. Come there. Uh, first me. of all, madam, not to be a stickler, but it's pronounced cretin. Second of all, when I tell you do something, girl, you better fucking do it. Now, I've been hearing a whole bunch of According shit over the who? wires about how you've been behaving at police scenes, caterwauling and carrying on, not doing as told. That is because that ain't my scene. That one was. You was given a lawful order to clear the fuck out, and instead, you wanted to stick around and see what happened. Well, now you know. That's a, you can't do this. I'm an important woman. I'm a fashion icon. In I know. City. You can't treat people like this. No, you were going to absolutely love the outfits up here at State Prison, too, girl. They call it the Hamburglar oh, Special. The it's the old school black and white bars. Hello, Carl. You go on ahead and piss yourself, madam, if you want. They'll give you a fresh uh, pair of skivvies up at the jail if you can't control yourself. Uh, I'm not getting out of this car. You can't make me. Yeah, I can't. There we go. Shit. All right, Miss Chanel. So I got good news and I got bad news, madam. Which one do you want first? What? User. Ah, uh, okay. Let's start with the good news. Okay. Good news is, fair to obey a lawful is only class one misdemeanor. That's about five months in the booty house, ma'am. Ain't no big deal at all. Okay, what's the bad news? Uh, bad news is, as a killer. sovereign citizen, you refusing to identify, etc., etc., under the guidelines set for the Department of that Homeland part, Security, it, we got to hold you for 72 hours to establish your identity and make sure you are a citizen of the United States, being that you're sovereign and all. So uh, that's probably going to be about three, 4,368 months, maybe some change. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, okay, listen. Maybe I identify as a sovereign citizen, but I may have at one point, against my will, picked up some identification cards which are located in my front left pocket between mm. two Dairy Queen coupons for Dilly Bards. Okay, roger that. Alright, well, that changes things quite a bit. Oh, okay. Yep, here uh, we go. This looks, yeah, this actually looks, this is right. State issued ID and all, yep, looks squared away. I don't, not that I identify with that, but it's it is valid. Like I said, you're asking either identify as an American citizen who's subject to the same laws of purview as everybody else, or you're asking identify as an inmate on a 72-hour hold. I'm going to let you decide right now. Uh, well, before before we get there, I have good news and bad news for you, Sergeant Master Thompson. No, ma'am. I'll tell you what. It is Trooper Thompson. You will address me as such. Again, I don't know who you've been Trooper. working with. Madam, I don't know who you've been working with or what they've been telling you. But you and I are going to have a professional fucking relationship. I'm out here doing my goddamn job as a state trooper. I ain't around here to play back and forth with you. It is Trooper Thompson, yes sir wow. and no sir, madam, for as long as I am delivering police service. If you can't get that done, trooper. then I will take a special fucking interest in you. I will make sure to well, apply myself in your rehabilitation, madam. Well, trooper Thompson... You say that you're out here doing your job, but I was never Mirandized. I was never read my rights. I was never told that I was being detained or arrested. This is a false arrest. This is bullshit. Let me go. I tell you what, I'm sorry, madam. I was listening to the radio that last little bit. I did not catch not one iota of it. I am. I apologize emphatically. Uh, oh, I just said, uh, I'm sorry. You did not read me my Miranda rights. You did not read me my Miranda rights. You did not say I was being arrested. You did not say I was being detained. This is bullshit. That is not true, it's a man. False arrest. I told you you were being arrested for arrest. failure to main, or excuse me, failure to obey a lawful command. And I did not Mirandize you, madam, which I'm sure you know. For Miranda v. Arizona, you only need to be Mirandized if you're being interrogated, madam. And I did not need to interrogate you having witnessed the offense myself. That's not how I choose to remember it, Trooper Thompson. Well, that's good, because I live in the world of is, and you live in the world of wish was. You go ahead and keep wish wasn't, and your ass going to end up in state prison more often than not, Miss Chanel. Now, you want to fuck with me, madam, you will get fucked up. You mess with the bull, you get oh. the horns. Oh, my God. Don't threaten me with a good time, Trooper Thompson. I'm not threatening you, madam. I'm making you a solid-ass promise. Either your ass gonna get real cooperative real fucking quick, or your ass going to jail four thousand three hundred seventy-two months. Oh God. Okay. Okay. I don't want that at all. What can I do? How can I make this easier for you?
What you can do, madam, is remember the proper title, the yes sir and the no sir, and do as you are asked if I show up to a police scene. I ain't doing it for fun. <laughs> I understand, sir. Thank you, Miss Chanel. I'll tell you what, gonna give you a serious break on it. This time I'm gonna cut you loose. Thank you very much. Won't even much. show on your I record. Apologize. All right. I apologize. I apologize for my short temper, or my short temper, Trooper Thompson. I do appreciate the job that you're doing. I just, I'm a strong-headed businesswoman. It was not right of me to talk to you like that. Not a problem, Miss Chanel. I figure you, uh, you give respect and you get it. I don't mind treating you with respect as a strong businesswoman or whatever else it is. But I'm gonna get that same respect off of you when I'm at work, madam. All right? I think that's fair. That is fair. I understand, Trooper Thompson. All right then. You need a ride somewhere? Drop you off somewhere, maybe? You want to head back up there, Mr. Um, Slater? I, I would like to find Surfer Danny Slater, but wherever your next destination is, Polito Bay, Los Santos, wherever uh, right, wherever Dan. your journey is taking you. Yeah, I'll give you a ride. If you want to call him up, find out where he's at, maybe that'll make things a little bit easier. Just drop you off with him. I remember the first thing he said. He caught me in the grocery store and trying to impress me. He said, Oh, well, you're, you're pretty lady. Are you trying to buy tampons or something? I said, No, I don't believe in those. I just air dry. And, uh, that was and the, that that was the was pickup the line was, hey, are you trying to buy tampons or something? I would not, if there, there are many things that I would call Mr. Surfer Danny Slater. A smooth talking, you know, Rico Suave is not exactly one of them. Yeah, you and me both. He's a gentleman, perhaps not a scholar. I think he's got the IQ of a peach pit, but, you know, God bless his heart. <laughs> there he is. My sweet, mindless swamp monster cave troll of a fiance. Hello, sir for Danny Slater. Uh, okay, uh, chat. So uh, the ALPR just painted for the ride, sir. I appreciate that your, truck right there is showing his 99. <laughs> Absolutely, Miss Chanel. I'm glad that we could come to some kind of understanding, madam. Want to make sure you get treated with respect. Absolutely. I also want to be treated the same way, not some kind of a fucking circus. If I show up, do my work. I understand, Trooper Thompson. I will make sure that Danny Slater understands the same thing, fucking <laughs> Danny Slater. So we are going to sit right fucking here, Chad. Yeah. Yeah. He stole that truck 100 Excellent. fucking percent. Okay, thank you very much for the ride, uh, Trooper Thompson. Have a safe day. All right, y'all too. Y'all have a good one. Congratulations, Mr. Slater, on the Gentlemen, upcoming vows and all. Four. Oh, you're such a romantic. Get out of the street, sir, for Danny Slater. It's dangerous. I need you for mating. I'm going to lay my eggs down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Choked on some dip, chat. <clears throat> Damn it. Temple, we're going to be off-road conditions from Sonora. Uh... They just went off road and jumped off the. They went off the mountain. The I guess like probably gonna be landing near Vinewood Boulevard, maybe Meteor Street. They'll probably be out on foot with that vehicle being damaged. Holy shit! That was some Dukes of Hazard shit right there, boy. What in the fuck? Well, well, well. Gonna be a party, I guess. Let's see here. Is that I'll Garrett? That. Hey, Trooper. Hey, yo, get Hello. In the front. Uh, hey, How's Trooper Thompson. Coming? How y'all doing? I'll take oh, you know, another, another day in paradise. Mm hmm. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have those subjects in another 99 vehicle. Hands now! Let me see your fucking hands now! Oh, oh God. Don't you oh, even God. twitch or you're gonna get Jeez. shot! Move over here, Mr. Slater. Yeah. Move yeah. here on the other side yeah. of that car and do it yeah. now. Miss Chanel, don't you fucking move, madam. Come on over here, homeboy. You turn around now. Put your hands behind your back. Do it now. Do it now, son. You under arrest. Hell yeah, I'm a serious 10 back-to-back -back heart attacks. You're just being detained, Miss Chanel. I understand. You gonna run from me? 
I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I think you do know exactly what I'm talking about, Mr. Slater, you stupid asshole. Kiki, help me! Thank God you saved me, Trooper Thompson! Thank God! I thought I thought that was the way of it, Miss Chanel. I thought maybe you had been up there. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to answer. Got him, chat. Okay, so first things first, man. Do you need any medical attention? Any type of medical attention from that jump y'all did? No, 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 no. Okay, so you're doing alright? You didn't get banged up from it or nothing? He might wait, wait, what he might jump? need some surgery. We might want to about? notify the prison infor infirmary, Duel. Yeah. So you don't need no medical attention from that jump. That shit was crazy. That was yeah, a boss ass jump. Probably yeah. had some compression it was damage. gnarly, dude. Yeah, bro. It was gnarly, dude. I don't know what, yeah. I don't know it was like totally it was like totally gnarly, bro. That shit like was wicked, bro. Killer. Yeah, bro. Fucking wicked. Like unbelievable, uh, man. Like fucking X game like, style, bro. Bred it all the way in, dude. Yeah, bro. Bred it. Woo! You guys done? Oh, fucking make fun bro. of me. I'll no, tell you no. what, Mr. Slater, I just I'm started. Sweet, bro. I haven't even started on you yet, so No, no, no. We haven't even got to the foreplay, much less skipping that and get right to the fucking. You just sewed yourself your own body bag, boy. Black canvas. Mark dumbass. Right on the top. She forced me to do jump? it. Mm-hmm. I swear. I swear. Okay. My ass. You know why I don't think that's true, Mr. Slater, and why you're trying to play one of your games, sir? You... <laughs> why? Well, because, sir, Miss, Miss Chanel why? was in my custody. When I rolled up to the uh, ammunition there and painted the back end of that, that truck with my ALPR and saw that that plate was coming back as a stolen. So I waited on the street over to see if you had actually stolen that vehicle, sir. And you and Miss Chanel both got into that vehicle. That vehicle was already there before I got there, before she got there. So you were not forced to do it, Mr. Fucking Slater. So if you want to keep on telling lies and shit, son, I will just max you hey, the Eli. fuck out and send your ass to state prison for a hundred fucking months. Hey, no, 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 so no. I don't have to worry about Eli, your goofy blonde headed surfing ass again. Shit going on here. Now there ain't. She was completely in fear for her life. I'm just saying, she's saying yeah. this man's a kidnapper. Yeah, probably so. God, she's all... Maybe she bury your ass underneath the fucking oh jail. Oh, my God. Sorry, I had a little headache. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I hopped, I hopped in the vehicle and um, yeah, I, just, I don't have a license, man. I'm trying mm -hmm. to get it back, and that, that's, that, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. That's that's what I do too, Doyle. If I if I had a suspended license, trying to get it back, I'd steal vehicles and then run from the state police. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a stolen vehicle. Uh, so I was is this one. Speeding, and I don't have my license. You gonna tell me about this van right here? Miss Chanel was driving. Who that, stole it? She was driving. She stole it. She's not, she's gonna be nope. a fucking Got them liar. Both. She's the one that stole it. And I was, got them see, both. See, that doesn't make any sense. I didn't kidnap her because she got in that vehicle. She got was driving both. that vehicle, and I was in the passenger seat. That's she, enough for I don't that. Have any weapons on me to fucking make her Julie do what, she wanted, what I want her to do. Period. You can check me. Up. I told you, Trooper Thompson, I don't carry weapons no more. Thank you, Mr. Slater. You. I'm sorry you're so outraged with how ridiculous your own behavior is and the fact that you got caught. The fact that you sh the thing that should make you most upset, sir, is you continue to make bad decisions. Every single time you run up against me head to head, you get fucked up. Every time. Every single uh, time. I'm done. I'm done. I swear to God, I'm done now. I'm you know, not, if I'm you'd have pulled your fucking you ass over. And yielded, you know what I would have done, sir? I probably would have gave you a stern fucking warning, taken the truck from you, returned it to its rightful owner, put your ass on foot patrol. Now you're looking at a serious fucking jail stint, son. Ah, uh, I know. Uh, mm. I'll accept whatever's coming my way. Okay, you're under arrest I mean, for grand I, theft auto, no fleeing and eluding, reckless driving, failure to maintain a lane, failure to signal times three, failure to obey a traffic control device, Times four and reckless endangerment times three. Whoa! Hold on. Can you, oh, dude, that's so many. Yeah, maybe tack on I'm an obstruction on of justice one. and supplying false information to a law enforcement officer for the bullshit you tried to spin about it being her idea as well. Like I said, maybe we just tuck you away in a nice quiet spot so I don't have to deal with your brand of shenanigans for very long. Uh. <laughs> Oh man, dude, I'm never hanging out with her again, I swear.
You call me dude again, son, and you won't have to worry Sorry. about catching oh, the van shit. to jail. I will boot your goofy I'm surfing in, ass all the way there. I'm in, sir. I'm in, sir. I swear. I don't, I now don't know. Now you sit here. And to make no mistake, you, you are fucking word. under no. arrest. I, Trooper Thompson, I owe you a D-word. You know I do. You don't owe me shit, boy. Me That's the thing is that you, you think that there's I some kind of back and forth here, man. Ain't no back and forth. It's here's a police control. Uh. You under arrest. You don't dictate terms here. Yes, Trooper Thompson. Yes. All, All right, I Mr. remember Nail. was getting into. Yes, Trooper Thompson. Sorry, madam. Can I? Ma I just want to make this right quick and in a hurry now, because there's other people that desperately need our police service. Okay. Yes, Trooper Thompson. I assume that Officer Boscarelli has already Mirandized you, madam. He has not, Trooper Thompson. Okay. Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah, he has. He said. All right. Either way, here's a card. I apologize. Here's a little card you can okay. keep. Give that to you. Okay, thank you. All right. Now, you have the right thank to remain silent. Friend. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at no cost by the state. You have the right to have your attorney present while you're being questioned. You have the right to invoke these rights at any point in time. Do you understand your rights, madam? I do understand my rights, Trooper Thompson. All right, ma'am. So here's the deal, okay? When we pulled up to the ammunition there, the plate on that truck returned as a 99 vehicle. I moved to the other side of the road on the opposite side of the, the ammunition. I saw both y'all get in there, travel reckless speeds, commit a ton of traffic violations, and route back to the city before y'all saw me with my overheads on and ended up taking that jump going 120 miles an hour. Didn't take a goddamn rocket scientist to figure that y'all probably either acquire transportation or try to walk down here to the garage to swap out a dirty car for one of y'all's own. So it was just a matter of waiting. Y'all drive in here on a stolen vehicle. You're driving that vehicle. As you enter the garage, madam, the plate on that is also going to be a stolen that probably out of the Vinewood area after you wrecked the first car. Now, I'm not interested in a bunch of goddamn games. I don't want to hear him telling me that you kidnapped him. I don't want to hear the same shit from you. None of that. You cut me straight, and I'll, cut, I'll deal with you straight. Now, you are holding in your hand, madam, the difference between a slap on the goddamn wrist and some minimal talk with maybe some jaw jack in the ear, or you're talking about a hundred fucking months on the shit that I can stack. Do not test me. I will I will caution you I'm, on that. Oh God, I will not, Trooper Thompson. Absolutely. Thank not. you, madam. Now, isn't it true that Mr. Slater has a, a, a fucking suspended ass license, and he was well aware that that vehicle was stole, and that's why he took off like that? I I can absolutely attest to the fact that as we passed you going approximately half the speed of light, he said, "Oh God, Kiki, I don't have a license." And that was the first time that I was informed of it. As we were passing you, lights flashing, mm -hmm. breaking the sound barrier. Roger that. So, what about I this vehicle here, ma'am? Again, honesty is the best yeah. policy. Did you take this vehicle here? Tro Trooper Thompson, I, I will not lie to you. I did pick up that vehicle from about uh, a block away, and I did drive it into here. And I was aware that I was not the owner or proprietor of that vehicle. I will, yes, I will come clean to you about that. I appreciate that. That, that was me. Your honesty, madam, we will waive the fine and severely reduce the time. Okay? You are under arrest at this point for Grand Theft Auto. Okay? I'm going to search you. Do you I have understand. anything on you I need to know about, ma'am? No, Trooper Thompson, I do not, sir. Okay. Fair enough. I, I promise you I'll treat you fair, and I will, Miss Chanel. Just sit tight here. I'll be right back with you. All right, Mr. Slater. I do not much like being lied to, sir. Okay? I want the truth the first fucking time. All right? Now, you did come clean eventually. We're going to waive the fine. We're going to reduce the time. But both of y'all going to be under, the, under arrest. You hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Let's get y'all on up to Mission Road to process y'all. I Any appreciate you, boys. I appreciate you. I, I got a cage. I'll just run them on up there and take care of it. Was honest with us. Sir, for Danny Slater, is that you over there? We're going to reduce it, wave some. Don't talk to me. You know, we're going to put them What in. are you talking about? Why? You're dead to me now. We're going to do What 20, are you talking about? 25. Let's dead. do 25. I didn't we could do anything. Do well over for Danny like Slater, I, said, I, I played a little Kiki. joke. I appreciate when they got yeah. us. We talked about this last time. So, Don't be yelling. Uh, and our whole no, self. Not, not making it I difficult understand. for us. Back and forth. Kiki, we get rid of the maybes. You, re you ready to, you ready to well, talk? Pay's going to fucking burn alive in that place. County Dispatch, 309, requested immediate 1091 transport to Bolingbrook State Prison for a medium security inmate. Going to be a number two male, six feet tall, 200 pounds, blonde-headed, black ball cap backwards, going to have a yellow wife beater, 
gray, uh, looks like shorts, flip flops, going to be recently uh, engaged to uh, Miss Chanel and likely going to be stuffing his longboard and her VW bug, whatever on else. Y'all can ask him about it up at the jail. Later on, dude. Later on. Ha <laughs> ha. He tried okay. to do it. He tried um, to time it. Going to the booty hole, our entire trooper, Thompson. Yes, ma'am. I understand. Been a bad girl. I need to save my. I need to spend. I need to. Uh, I need to serve my time so that I can come back out rehabilitated, and lead Los Santos in fashion. Yes, ma'am. One hundred percent rehabilitated for sure. I have no doubt. Me neither. Will I get that beef jerky back on the other side? I've been curing that for two months. Oh, shit. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Eli, let me get a piece of that. I, of you that. want some hey. of her beef jerky she's been curing? Oh, I just a valid point. Valid I just want point. you to know, I can't verify what of that jerky has been curing in my panties oh. or inside of my jacket. So you'll Miss Chanel, God damn it. Fincone did that. That's some bitch Can did I that on purpose. Can what I'm looking for in terms of time? Trooper yes, ma'am, you may. So we're going to go ahead and waive the fine, as we talked about, for the honesty now. Okay? You're going to get charged with operating a stolen vehicle for Trooper Doyle. You're also going to get charged with Grand Theft Auto for me. But I'm dropping all the other stuff. Okay? So we're looking at, uh, depending on what he wants to do on the time, I was only going to do uh, five minutes, or excuse me, five months on the Grand Theft Auto charge. I wasn't going to hammer you on it. Okay? I appreciate that, Trooper Thompson. Well, Trooper Doyle, can we come to an understanding? You act I'm right, to be and you you be honest. You act right. Don't make it into a goddamn circus and shit. And I'm willing to work with you. You want to act like a fool? Then I got the remedy for that. I don't doubt that for one second, Trooper Thompson. Okay, so you're gonna be looking at 20 months uh, max on the, the charge for him. And I'm gonna give you five on the grand theft that you caught you cop to because he was honest. All right. I, I'm getting a better idea of how the system works, Trooper Thompson. I appreciate the clarification. Not a problem, madam. Okay, so we got two felonies. And I'd just like to point out before I go to the booty hole that all serving LEOs get 30% oh, off Kiki's organic clothing. No, at least one felony. I don't know what. Or I don't like know that. what's you going know, on with this thing. Need with something with patched up. You just come by. Come by a cock. With this, I'm happy to give my stolen. cock to you. So come on by Kiki's organic clothing, Las Lagunas Boulevard, 30% off. My cock. Yes, ma'am. 30% 30, 30 off the cock. You hear that, Doyle? I heard it. Even you, Trooper Doyle. Even you as well, apparently. Now, the incoming 911. Yeah, we got two. I'm on it. Well, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck. You all right there? Yeah, I accidentally hit the goddamn key, you fat fingers, f fucking shit. God damn it. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I step out the car naked if y'all need me to, damn. Say my day. All right, driver, here's what we're going to do. Driver and driver only. Passenger, keep your hands on the ceiling of the car. Driver, step out. Yes, sir. Face away from me. Yep. Shit. Yes, sir. I put my seatbelt on. I don't know why. Okay. Don't move. Gonna... Don't you fucking move. Driver, you're going to take steps backwards. Come back. Come back. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Step to your right. Step to your right. Stop. Yes. Step back. Step back. Okay. Stop. Yes, sir. Bosco, you got him? I got Transition him. to the, uh, his buddy that got in the driver's seat. Move him to the back. Eli, keep cover. I'm going to move position so I can get to the center spot. Yeah, roger that. I got him. Bosco, you good? Yep, we're good. He had a weapon bat and a, a pistol on New him. driver, step out of the vehicle. Face away from me. Walk backwards. To the right. Back. Stop. Don't move. Four fifty one, we got, we got cut in custody. On your left side there, Eli. Car's clear, boys. Yeah. Okay. Sir, copy out, Twitchell. 
I love Ice to go uh, with it. There's a slightly, okay, slightly more than the legal limit of marijuana possibly in the trunk. Holy it's shit, dog. Gonna have well, two kilos up. of the excited. devil's lettuce. Jazz oh, cabbage, boy. Oh, my damn. Oh, my yeah, damn. Yep. Yeah. So that's what you meant with slightly a little bigger than a blunt? I'm just, you know, I was like, you allowed to have some for personal use, but, you know, I think that might be a little bit more than that. Yes, sir. That's people. Trying to be up front. Trying to be up front, you know? Yeah. Yep. What the fuck is wrong with you? He just picked me up, sir. Mm -hmm. That's it. He just picked me up, and I was riding along with him, and he was so going to drop me in Los Santos. You just out here prostituting yourself, working the side of the highway like some kind of lot lizard? Some kind no, of common gypsy prostitute no, out here? You saw Clarence, you're like, oh shit. There's a chance to make a quick buck. Is that his name, Clarence? Wow. Sorry. Yeah, you don't know uh, Clarence? I didn't know that. Tell him little squirt. Yep, Clarence so lives at home with both parents. And Clarence's parents have a real good marriage. Everyone knows that. Parents does have a real good marriage, I bet. His parents do, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I was just tagging along, uh, sir. Tagging along, uh, he picked me up and he was going to drop me in Los Santos. And uh, he stopped at a couple places and, uh, yeah, he, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't ask any questions. You know, he popped a trunk and he went out back and I just stayed in the passenger seat the whole time. I didn't okay. know he was uh, doing anything illegal, so... Okay, and what at what at what point did he expose his penis? He didn't expose his penis, sir. What the, f the fuck, what the fuck you mean, hmm. dude? Sir, sir, I'm sorry. You said penis and it threw me off. That's why. Gee, I'm sorry. Let me call you the D word. Okay, so he didn't at any time expose his penis at all. He did not. Just, no, he did not. Nope. Well. No, he did not, sir. I'll tell you what, Mr. Slater. You better start picking your company a lot better, sir. Otherwise, all you're going to be seeing all day long, 24-7, is exposed penis. You understand me, son? You're going to be seeing more hog than a fucking baloney factory if you don't start picking better friends. Now, you start behaving like a goddamn adult instead of us having to drag you out by the ear out of every fucking car you having to get into. You picking up what I'm putting down? Yes, sir. I'm picking up. I'm just going to walk, I guess. Yeah, you take your goofy Everybody's... ass on foot patrol. Walk on the fuck on that way. Call yourself a cab. Get on out of I'm my walking. sight, goddammit. I'm walking. All right, I'm walking. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, oh, who is this? Hello, Mr. Dankweed. Hey, how's it going, sir? How's, how's hello, the patrol trooper. doing today? It's going well. Living the dream. Snapping necks and cashing checks. Catch any, like, murderers? Any murderers? Not yet, but the day is young. <laughs> yeah, remember when you said you were going to catch Regina? me doing something illegal? <laughs> Get out of those bushes and shit. You use the sidewalk like an adult person. Or I'll throw you in with the fucking animals. I'm sorry, I forgot. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, sorry about that, Mr. Dankweed. You were in the middle of gloating, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was just going to say, you know, I haven't been a choir boy today, but, you know, I've also, you know, I almost, you know, Sauter almost gave me a ticket for speeding earlier. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he let me go. He was being nice about it. Oh, that is nice of Trooper Sauter. That is nice of him. So what all have you been up yeah, to then? I, I mean, it's easy to say you haven't been a choir boy, but, you know, how are we just supposed to know? I mean, what what level of criminal malfeasance have you been up to? I stand uh, you, you trying to, you're trying to, are you trying to self-incriminate? Am I you're trying to get me to huh? self-incriminate right now, sir? I'm sorry, it sounds like you, you went from confident to, like, stuttering Stanley. I'm saying, what, what have you been no, up I to? I was trying to think of the, I was thinking of the phrasing. I didn't know how to say it. Okay, uh, well, Norma just starts with, like, a list of, the criminal ass shit you've been up to. No, you think I'd make your job easy for you? Are you kidding? Oh, sir? okay. No, I'm sorry. I think you're making it up, Mr. Dankweed. That's what I think. I think uh, you're making it up well, to seem to seem tough. You, you can't even tell me what it is to well, gloat let's about. Just, let's just say uh, it's been somewhat lucrative, okay? Miss Goddamn Stone, <coughs> don't you no, no, fucking no, 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 no. move. Let me see your fucking hands now. Back up. 
Back up. Back up. You're under arrest. Public display of a firearm. Uh, uh, so that was a mistake. I didn't mean to. Goddamn back. right it was. Mm-hmm. Too bad you ended up filling them kitten paws with something that goes boom. That was a big time fuck up. Guardian? Watch your head. Yes, sir. Now, Mr. Oh. Dankweed, if you want to head on up to the booty house, you should probably be getting out here shortly. Oh, excuse me, bicycle. Uh, Apologize. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, is this inconvenient for you, Mr. Dankweed? Sorry that law and order is such an yeah. inconvenience. Thanks for, thanks for the consideration. Later on, dudes. Well, 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 Miss Stone. What were you going to do with I all that handgun, madam? Well, I wish I had done something now that I'm getting arrested. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell you what. Would have made our, our life a little bit easier. I'll let you out, cut the handcuffs off. We'll uh, walk 20 paces and then let the best person win. And then we can up these charges from a five minute public display of a firearm to 45 fucking months for uh, attempted homicide of a state trooper plus the bullet wound you'll get in your face. How's that? Ah, uh, you sure it wouldn't be you getting the bullet wound, trooper? I, I am 100% positive, madam. I would test my luck for 45 months. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> Too bad for you is against standard operated procedure, madam. You were in custody. What is that I smell, Trooper? Me closing the partition. Oh, because I'll just talk to myself, because, you know, to me, I just smell the pussy. Because, you know, I was willing to do it. Do the crime, do the time. See this shit? Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Mm. Mm. There we go. I like uh, that, Miss Stone. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy that what tune. You, you go on ahead and make that noise all you want, madam. I love that song. <laughs> Yes, yes ma'am. Ma That's my favorite song. I'm a big fan of the one-hit wonders. I do not, uh, for the life of me, I cannot remember who sings. It's going to be frustrating. Go through these. Oh, you got a knife, a bat. Where are you keeping the bat at, madam? Let me guess. <laughs> All right, ma'am, don't you worry. They'll get uh, that bo the, the gag and the bag off of you up at, up at the prison when they're doing the cavity search right before the de-lousing. When they spray them with the hose and put the, the louse powder on you. The lice hate the powder. Okay? So don't you worry. You'll be back to jawjacking and talking all kinds of shit in no time, madam. Guaranteed. County Dispatch, 309, requested immediate 1091 transport to Bolinbrook State Prison for a number two female. Five foot eight, about 100 pounds, about 100, what, 100, 100, 105 pounds, blonde headed, got a vest on, bracelets, jeans, high heel boots, Mission Road Cell 1, later on, ma'am. <laughs>